we can confidently say by June 15th that we can start to open up as business as usual. California is planning to fully reopen its economy in less than three months if current COVID-19 trends hold. Governor Gavin Newsom made that announcement on the same day San Diego County learned it will be moving into the less restrictive orange tier. It is welcome news for our businesses, but as our ABC 10 News reporter Rachel Bianco explains, certain steps still need to be taken to control the spread of COVID-19 as we continue to rebound from this pandemic. Businesses across San Diego will welcome back more customers starting Wednesday when the county enters the orange tier. We're headed in the right direction because of what we've done uh, and the protections we put in place, not in spite of it. Under the less restrictive tier, restaurants, museums, aquariums, and places of worship can operate indoors at 50% capacity. Gyms increase to 25%. Amusement parks can open with 25% capacity to in-state visitors only. Concerts and sporting events go up to 33%, also for in-state visitors. Bars that don't serve food can now open outside. There are no capacity limits on retail. The county also announced an end to the 10 p.m. curfew that's been in effect since July. We're excited about where we're headed, the direction, the trajectory moving to orange, uh, looking ahead to what's coming at June. June 15th is expected to bring an end to all restrictions. The governor announced Tuesday, as long as vaccine supply remains sufficient and hospitalizations stay low, the state will do away with its blueprint for reopening. We can start to open up as business as usual, subject to ongoing mask wearing and ongoing vigilance. The governor also says he expects schools, community colleges, and universities to return to in-person instruction, but he stopped short of saying that he'll make it a requirement. Rachel Bianco, ABC 10 News. State leaders say that California doesn't plan to have a vaccine passport system, but large conventions with more than 5,000 people, they will be required to prove attendees are either vaccinated or tested.